And I'm going to say that in my life, I never thought I'd be live. All right, everyone, about doing a, video a bit of a about the late starting live recording reaction. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I mean, you put the didn't think we were going to do it, but we right. managed to make it happen. Oh, so they're in the first showing. Oh yes. Of uh, dragon he breath, has a so chance to fart now we will all actions, and there are attention. many, many different fart sounds. <laughs> yeah, so far so uh, good. I let him just really idle for a little while. Right. He's, he's squeezing Just to recap, yeah. he has a frame advantage on fart. So those are kind of his, his combo moves. Combo that I even did the belly bash. Um, oh, that's and his right. EX the belly bash is basically a really like good clone, so. kind of mid-range move. It's very quick. It's really interesting so far. Rings, so I haven't seen any breath yet, unless the dragon's breath the is the part. Yeah, so and that's far he's really the interesting. Bump the bump and dump. Much First more junky, much, then, much more Jackie dump. Chan than he looks like in the trailer. All right, so now let's look at dragon's breath. Are we not getting fired for this? We're saying fart a lot. I mean, it's the, the game. character. Yeah, yeah, it's the okay. game. We could say too. Wait, that's it. That's all. Oh, okay. I thought that'd be like like drinking and fire breathing, but I guess it is just farting. That's this his kind of farting move, variation. Which you can use in the mid -range. Well, he can it's do an like a little breathe fire thing. Linger. Oh, oh. And the oh okay. Is really I, I literally just saw that it right It lingers now. and then actually travels forward. Oh, so that looks sick. Run up and throw, or run up and do your like mix up, and it kind of contains the, the opponent. In fact, you could do an EX fart and then ignite the fart. What? <laughs> and if that hits the opponent, the opponent I don't know how useful it's going to be, but igniting the fart is just cool. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> just, that's like uh, realistic. This is... is what yeah, that's very realistic. Very realistic. <laughs> it's a pop. In any of the fire moves that I'm going to show, <laughs> what? ignite the fart. So, okay. I, it, so, you know, just throw a couple of those. If I'm looking correctly, I can only half hear 16 bits. If I'm, if I'm seeing this correctly, if you get caught in the EX fart, just a pretty good he can ignite you for a pop-up. And the uh, that's the way it does looks a to me. Big chunk of damage and has an even bigger hitbox. I just don't right. even know and what to say. <laughs> no, just, yeah. This is not the bow right show I wanted. Fire, <laughs> it's like half half of what I wanted. It's Caltrops. he's got a much he's got a very cool like normals and, and fighting stuff, style, the like drunken fighting style, so to speak. And I like throwing the little flames and stuff like that. I like all that, but I just I still don't understand why the farting is necessary. It's not, and I. And then you can go for a jungle. I, I, I go. I swear, oh, say it. I like the party, and I don't like the party. Like, what I mean friend, by that is, I would like either rendition. Uh, I, I would enjoy it. Like, uh, um, you know, uh, more and, uh, serious bow right show, and I would enjoy you know, flame farting bow right show. I love them both. So the fireball helps you get in. Uh, it's and just, then it's also I don't know. Stuff. Like, I, I understand it. Like, it's it's sort of funny, like, in a very, very <laughs> immature way. <laughs> and that's the only reason it is funny is, like, this is so childish and toilet humory. It's ridiculous, so I kind of have to laugh, but at the same time, I'm just like. Do the stomp. Was it the I would feel embarrassed to be like <laughs> I would just feel embarrassed to be playing this character oh, in front no. of other people. I wouldn't be, dude. I'd be like, Mom, check this shit out. Fart. And I can blow the opponent up. Here's the thing. I like it in the context of Mortal Kombat. If this character was in a vacuum or was the lead in his own story that had nothing to do with MK, so if he was farting in a vacuum, same way as saying, "Let me try my combo. I have a combo for this, maybe." My, one of my favorite. I love the art design on this move. I just think it looks awesome. The way he stumbles back is so awesome. So cool. Yeah. But you can do sort of that. I never then, thought like, fire effects would go right show, but it makes so much sense now that I'm seeing it. You oh. fart, and then like. Oh, I missed that part. I also yeah, really like his costume. It, it really like is. That, yeah. Tyler did. Bad. I like the Let casual take on Bull Right Cho. He was yeah. always in like battle robes or like. Alright, what are we looking at next? I'm um, like a kimono before an NKW Woo! Alliance, and it's now really, he's much really more. Alright. Um, basically, kind of has like a dress park thing drink. going. I like it. It looks good. And when you take a drink, it yeah. enhances some of his moves and it actually gives him brand new moves. Drunken Master. I mean, I guess sort of a cliche, but still a very good name. I think this is what you and Razor were kind of hoping for. Well, he just threw up. Okay. Level 1 drunk. Then there's Never level two mind. drunk and level three drunk. Now the catch is, once you drink, there's a ten second countdown. They literally the took nothing seconds, away. Right, then. Then. <laughs> they have throwing up. They have farting. The they have them doing like, yes. like there you go. Uh, belly bombs on stumble. people. And that leaves them open. Now, the balance to this is as it long looks as like he drinking, has the bang mechanic from injustice. He will not vomit. So, That's similar to real life. what do you mean? Yeah, 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 like, when he gets drunk. He You're has a power up. Mm. But after ten so, seconds, he's open. He's staggered. I gotcha. And then keep staying drunk. And I to like help this plan. That, to help that, a bunch of his moves he can cancel into drinking. So example. But if you stay drunk, drunk, you'll never stagger. Choose to end it early. I think so. And get drunk. Get the full damage, but but now you're going for an I'm sorry, listeners. It's hard to talk and listen at the same time, so I do mix up, but. 
Yeah. Drink. Drink. How do you cancel the throw? It's just, you just do the down, down one is the input for drunk, and you do that. And there's, is, I the think this is going to like the A list. You can do this. Oh, okay. so like All right, show where it's probably not his easiest to continue or his most fun, intuitive, because you don't but this is going to be like a true ball right show. You want to keep the enhanced moves you get. And he does have some moves, though, that um, will get enhanced by drunk. So why right. don't you show the, okay. the non-drunk moves? All right, so. Okay, let's see what we got. If you're level one drunk, you get access to the Fasito. Yeah, the fat pedo, which is, you know, <laughs> in Deception he has sumo, so it makes sense that he has a sumo headbutt. This is so one, fun. It's a great move. It's almost full screen, and it does a huge chunk of damage. He's got, like, a sumo headbutt, he like, uh, he's a character from Street Fighter. Punches. Honda? E Honda, Honda, yeah. Which is kind of another really With, like, good a raid on it. And the EX1 has armor. And then he has these twirling punches, which level up as he gets drunk. You see here, level one drunk. I love the he green kind of kind of key as well. Punch. Level two good. drunk. He spends a little bit more. Level three drunk is the full on super drunk punch. Yep, super drunk punch. And then, there's EX versions of that. Yeah, there's EX. So it's like six different moves depending on how drunk you are, how much meter you want to spend. Then, wow. Then he also has. There's a lot of layers to this character. To, I'm not just saying that because he's fat. Pose. <laughs> sexy like, he's really there. interesting. He he's can roll very... forward or back. And he has the spinning low attack. And he has, uh, oh man, he's got a he has an uppercut that pops you up. Now let's say um, this is going to be hard what, to learn though. The, I'm going to struggle with this. I can oh, already I tell. How that. could you forget about that? One move that you don't even have to be drunk to do. He has is his puke, and it's kind of a mid-range. <laughs> Why? It's kind of decent at this range, but the drunker he gets, the better the move gets. And if you're at level three. It's got a lot more range, and the EX one is just ridiculous. <laughs> Full screen projection. This is like some Linda Blair shit. Yeah, this is like some uh, Evil Dead what level one. If, right? if you need to bring your drink, he'll go straight to level three. I forgot, so thanks for reminding me. Yeah, that's why we're here. So if you want to use the bar, yeah, you can see how tipsy he is. He'll go straight to level three. <laughs> he is crunk. Cool. Now, again, Paulo. Players for Dragon Master. More of a technical style, you think? Yeah, I think a lot of it is going to be you're going to have to know to confirm into. Um, you guys know how much time you have left. The cool thing about all this is we already have a tournament player who is locked into this character who's going to main him. So if someone can do this Drunken Master shit and use it proficiently, it's going to look really cool. Like, this is what Razor was talking about. He wanted a Drunken Master. This is what I was hoping we'd see in the trailer. And in the trailer, he was more like punchy, kicky, slammy, and I, I didn't think that was as cool. This is really awesome. If you've keeping it up for a while and you do eventually do puke, it's going to be an even longer puke. Okay. At There's point, a lot of puke there. Well, also, which is similar to how it yeah. happens in real life. Yeah. And when he drinks, his stamina bar refills. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, if he's low on stamina, he can always drink and it completely refills. Oh. Yeah, it's a nice refresher. And I think at this point, we'll look at his x-ray, because it's one of the most interesting in the game. So then, like, after a combo breaker, go ahead and drink. Yes, he could. Right back. Awesome. But, of course, the drink has recovery, so Scorpion could teleport if he reads it. Yeah. So it's a, it's a Absolutely. big guessing yeah, game. You have game. to find your gaps. You're not going right. to be able to just drink whatever you want. You have to find your gap. Well, probably the, the best option is try to go for a throw and then cancel the throw and drink uh, to, to start it off. And you also end combos in the throw pretty easily. you got to be a sneaky drinker. Yeah. So his x-ray, I'll do it from full screen. He pukes on the ground. All right, let's That's see. And the cool thing is, you can actually hold it. Oh, sorry, that's not bad. <laughs> and he can the puke. Yeah, it's unblockable. What? I mean, even if it's not cool, it's smart. Nah, that's what I expected for the x-ray. <laughs> also what somewhere. I expected. <laughs> so I love the fat man stance at the very end. <laughs> no so I thought he was going to like, sit on like Buddha style, but he just did the... It does not break armor. Yeah, so, so a lot of times you're gonna go for um, for um, for a, a puke setup, and then um, the guys will go the armor out, or like, or like, um, sometimes jump out. Doesn't feel very creative. In time. So something you have to do. I feel like yeah, X-rays. So you, you reach a point where you just kind of start doing a lot of delayed like, wake-ups. You start having trouble coming up with something that hasn't right? been done. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, it's okay. hard to even get excited for so them because I never use them like master. ever, like yeah, fucking the, uh, ever. The, uh, the normal fart and the uh, like my the philosophy has always been there's no, like, scale down X-ray damage or take away the scaling from X-ray damage. So I have a reason to use them. So if I do a thirty percent combo into an X-ray, yeah, I get like sixty percent damage. That sounds awful. But look at everything I lose. I lose my breaker. I lose three combo, you know, starters. Because remember, I can't do that four. Combo combo stuff without meter. I have to have meter to do that. You don't expect um, to get it. Yeah. And EX fart is no, I lose my armor if I get in the corner. Awesome. I, I, get, I give so, up so much to do that. And if you think about it, it's only an extra 20%, you know? So this, this one could bring nightmares back for some people from uh, Yes. That's if you're doing the 60%. The 3D games, remember Boracho? It's back. It's back. <laughs> yeah, so but Bart it's not Titsu, an infinite this time. No, it's not a free throw this time. Bart Titsu, uh, he uses This a is a little cool homage. I didn't think about it when I saw him this uh, in the gameplay trailer, but Pretty that stick has caused uh, a lot of pain for a lot of online players in 2004. New, new <laughs> and a new uppercut. This is one of so it's cool. It's kind of like what they do with Shinnok and Foster. You know, they're taking the gameplay and they're kind of doing their homage to it. I'm glad they're kind of making a big... Wow, that's a really good down two. He gets... This move, which brings them in and it restands them, so you know you can end your combos and then restand. He gets the flying kick, the move that he taught Liu Kang, you know, 20 years ago to defeat Shen. That so, is really cool. I always wondered if they were going to do that. Very cool of Liu Kang's moves. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's super it's fitting. Version. And honestly, he just looks um, better doing gains, it. Just saying. Instead of the drunken fist, he swings it around, and just like uh, yeah, it's, a, it's high. a high, but this one pops up. He gains. He's very limber for being so. Mm -hmm. He is. Yeah. He gains kind of a flurry move. He gains. Uh, it's very high move, man. Which is multiple hits. It's great presented. for breaking armor. Yeah. It's probably you know one of the easiest in the game to use to break armor. And the he animations are really good because every all the animations uh, yeah, make it look like it's effortless up, for him, and I think that's a great part a, of the character philosophy. Yeah. That you can get out to. yeah. So but, far, so you know, good. I, I'm actually up, this really exceeded my expectations. And, um, the low one. A low king. Yeah. Pretty much what I expected, honestly. There, does really yeah. good damage. Do you expect, it, you expect it to look this good? Yeah, I mean, I always thought his gameplay would look good. I just... That was never it's, it's one of the tide of meter burns really in doubt to me. I mean, there's not a character in the game, in my opinion, that gameplay just completely is like, ugh, what were they, like, this is just completely off. Like, to me, most, if not all, of the characters' gameplay is better than it ever has been, and their looks, especially, are better than they ever have been, so... That was never really a contention for me. Okay, one... I, and I've said that several times. I'm like, I'm disappointed in, you know, the DLC oh, roster, but I'm sure go. everyone yes. will play great. That's never really been a thing for me. It's more... Okay, one more try. Okay. One more try. With both specifically, I was just like, ugh, I don't want the farting and puking and just, like, the toilet humor because I thought we got away from that a little bit trying to take... I I'm not somebody that needs a super serious Mortal Kombat. I like Johnny Cage's humor. I guess I like more humor that's more adults, and this is, to me, is just like... Adam Sandler comedy humor, and it's just like yeah, yeah. this is kind of grown up yeah. too comedy. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just like, I mean, is there is one character really bothering me? No, but I mean, I I like Bo as a character, and I thought, you know, I thought he would be a lot more fun as a, a drunken slob, but not like a disgusting like just like farting in his opponent's face and lighting it on. Uh, it's just like that to me. So like, I don't feel like I'm above it. It's not like I can't laugh at that kind of humor it's just i don't know it just feels knowing nether realms history is just like man i was hoping for all right for something um i'm gonna go as a little bit smoke. more played your smoke earlier today i don't know sophic yeah, sophisticated or impressive. with him i don't know i don't know where i'm going with that but right. I, I just like the idea because i like everything else about that i like the alcohol drink and i like him getting surprised. drunker and okay. drunker right. and fighting right. more fun. sloppily <laughs> but he's still yeah. you know really good at what he's doing Stuff yeah, like that. It's just throwing up across right. the screen now and throwing up on the sense. ground and throwing up here and there. It's like they had five different ways to throw up with them, five different ways to fart with them, and it's like, ugh, really? But that's just my opinion. Let's see what the intro is. The Cyberlin Quay were destroyed. The fool believes that is all nice. They see well enough. Round one. I like his voice acting. Yeah. Here we go. You know, it's kind of. Nice That's kind of the weirdest away. part of Warwick, I feel like there's a disconnect so between his character and his gun. gameplay. Because in the story mode, none of this stuff shines through. 
Right. And I hope the intro dialogues oh, do cover. On, like, I imagine Johnny's gonna probably bring it up. I'll love his dialogues for animation. <laughs> Oh. I love that move. Oh, yeah, I wish I could watch this in higher resolution because I've been wanting to see a lot more smoke gameplay, game. but Thank you, Tyler. my desktop is wireless, and that's because yeah, my console first? is not. My console is hardwired, so right. Ooh, no I kind of just have to take it for what it is. Smoke looks exactly no. like it did in MK9. A lot of people so I far. saw through Twitter really want to see smoke a little more. Yeah, it looks like uh, at least fundamentally he may be better. better. He wasn't really um, I mean, yeah, he's got so all he's the same tricks. It looks like he's got his smoke bombs. Down he's down got his like little <laughs> smoke through where he kind of teleports over through them, phases through them. He's got his teleport punch. He's got the teleport punch from the sky. Well, technically, he doesn't have his teleport punch. That's part of his chain combo. It's like Raiden's uh, teleport chain combo. So you're not going to be able to check the opponent with it, but... No, it'll be interesting. It'll look cool. Like, really, the aesthetics were more important to me than the utility. Because I, I expected them to reinvent smoke. I didn't... When, to my surprise, they didn't reinvent him as much as I thought. I mean, he barely changed my opinion. Yeah, that's true. He could easily win this. Did you? Did you get a lot of flack? I still on wonder. I mean, he seems really yeah. good. Um, like he yeah. seems yeah, very strong. He seems the strongest out of the three, for sure. the or four, brass. even. Even though we didn't really see Sage. Yeah. 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 It was. Uh, At the very least, I think he's the best neutral game of the three. I think Cyrax is going to be the dirtiest, and Sector seems to be the most honest. That's what you did. Yeah. I feel like Cyrax is gonna be the most technical, <laughs> like the hardest to master, but the hardest to face. Smoke is gonna be the one that's probably the best. Just he's got a lot of tricks up his sleeves. It looks like. I feel like early Cyrax is gonna be the MK9, a net and a dream. Once you get a net, you're good. It's just it's just practicing your combos over that point, and doing all sorts of dirty resets. But um, I think it'll be fine in the neutral game. It's just hard to tell. He can't use his bombs uh, to dominate space as much because you can just low block oh, him now. Which I'll take that trade. I, I like the idea that <laughs> I get cool, like, yeah, totally you know, was. cool pressure oh, instead gosh. of cool space control. Oh. I think that's a nice trade. Uh -oh. yeah, here's the See, wasn't he just doing his teleports without having a combo? Oh. He can do the sky one. Okay. Hmm. Everyone quiet. Yeah, the sky one he can do without a combo. Oh. Ooh. You see, it was so cool till he blew up. Yeah, it that was, was so real. cool till he fucking right, blew up. That was lame. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Right. It, it, it wasn't lame at first. At first, I, I was like, "That's fucking swag." Oh no, no, I'm so totally I'm with you. I think, think we're, we're, we're both in agreement that oh, had he just lit him on fire and he just sat there and burned and screamed, it would have been much, much better. Well, if he just turned into a human fire geyser where he's just shooting fire out of his body like crisp up, oh man, that would have been sick. But NetherRealm Studios can never fucking hold their wad, and they just do it at the very fucking end. Oh, they have to take everything over. And like I said, that's I mean, how I guess that's how I feel uh, about with the Steve, farting and puking. Uh, it's like they can't just we, have this really win. cool, fun character, and it's like, oh, instead, it's, it's like, oh, we have this drunken slob, we gotta oh. have him fart, and then they just all chuckle to themselves. That's kind of what annoys me about it. It's like it be it becomes childish, it becomes hollow very often with some of the stuff that they do because. They can't, there's like no, there's no sophisticated simplicity a lot of times, in my opinion, with certain things that would benefit from it. They instead are like, what if we did this instead? And everyone laughs or everyone's like, oh, that's awesome. And it's like, but explosions, we have explosions. It's not very cool or creative. Had he just poured all the alcohol down the dude's throat through the match, and then lit the guy, yeah, lit his mouth on fire, and he starts gargling it out, or like you said, a fire geyser comes up, or he starts gargling up the alcohol, and he just completely lights on fire and screams as he's burning to death on his knees. Like, to me, that would be a way better visual than, oh, hey, he explodes. It would have been, like, he could have, like, just walked away like the action movie hero while he's still shooting fire out of his mouth, and that, that would have been so oh, cool. Man. But you're right, they don't know when to stop. They don't, I just hope they don't know how to dance around the line. They just fucking, like, sprint over it, you know? Really like, if, if uh, NetherRealm yeah, made Final Fantasy VII, <laughs> Eris would have exploded. Like, it's, it's oh. Yeah. yeah. 
I don't think it's necessary, but uh, I, mean, it's yeah, I mean, I'm with you. I'm just repeating what you said mostly. No Let's sure. see what Django has to say about it in the chat. Just so you but, know, uh, listeners, uh, Django's at work, so we have to communicate with him via text. Oh, I love that. Smoke, but Smoke's teleport, That's, not the Sky one. Things. It seems like you only do one punch and then he teleports, so I don't... Is, are you sure it's a combo? The Sky one or the ground one? Just the ground one in general seems to be punch and then he teleports. It, it uh, seems like it's all one thing. Yes! Yes, they amazing. they said it was a chain combo in the that, right? at a yeah, so. cuz that could, could have changed there's been a few times where he just throws one punch and immediately teleports so it looks like it's one fluid motion well i imagine if it's the first punch is the first part of the chain combo the teleport is the second part see right part. there right there i think he could do it the other side too so we get him both sides i think but i don't know i, I mean I may have misunderstood. It wouldn't be the first time. Would not be the first time I misunderstood. Not Tyler damage, but still good. Ethics are the same. Oh that! Oh gosh, that is a. You know me though. Yeah. Max damage. See, I missed all the universal moves, so I don't. I don't even know if that little flip kick is very age specific. Yeah, I don't know. He looks fast. That's what I love about him already. He's not like Ferretor or right, right, Goro. Nah, he's somebody that should be fast like that, yeah. Your technique is. I thought he drank his head for a second. Oh. Thanks, Steve. That was good. All right, your turn. Take a rest. Do you want to play one more with Bo Raicho, Steve? Sure. I will pick. Who should I play as? Uh, why don't you pick Ermac? Since he's your second main. I haven't played him in, in, in a bit. But I will. Okay. I mean, oh yeah, they did show Don't Crimson Steel or Mac or whatever. Team Tyler. Oh, that's cool. How do they look? Use, oh, they're about to show you again. I'll use Drunken Master. He looks the lighting looks really good right now. Like I love that like uh, almost copper the red they got which, going. Uh, like a ten out of ten level of play goes down to like a seven out of ten level of play. You weren't even that good of Artitzer. Yeah, this is the only costume I, of Ermac I'd probably Derek. play. Yeah, that says a lot. His primary looks good. I just oh, hate the, yeah. the rotting face. I fucking hate it. Who has the belt right now? <laughs> just, oh. Right. oh, that looks good. That looks really good, dude. I fight for the greater like, it's the perfect we red. Like, I'm such an asshole without color. So that, that red looks really good. It's like X-Wing red. I fucking love it. <laughs> Tyler, going for the low t three. Oh, it's part of my game plan. Oh, yeah, the problem with Street Fighter Five is it it doesn't it made me not want to learn any new and take X characters. You know, I I just beat up quite well. not whenever I do play MK, oh. which is not I've not done yet since I watched Street Fighter Five. Yeah. Like I just want to go cry on answer and just do my thing. Port. My block is actually got a lot better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely, it's pretty good here. Okay. Ooh. Doesn't get much off of that. Tyler not knowing he has a bar of meter. Just canceling. Oh. I'm not doing very well here. It's kind of wild. Yeah. And you know how it is when you play against a character. You've never What's the third variation for Ermac? Yeah. I know it's Spectral. Yeah, it's about as good as my smoke no, no, no. No, oh, Spectral's the third one. You missed Spectral. I, get, I, get a I wonder if they're yeah, going to do like anything with uh, combo, at least. With Mystic, I wonder if anything's going to come of that because I mean, that the, variation the, the is like, like it's like the unbreakable yeah, for Ermac. We never see oh, it. Oh man, get punished! Like honestly, yeah. I can't even fucking remember so. what it does. I have no, Look, I, I can't remember a single thing. I, mean, I, I guess it's, it's a telekinesis one, yeah, but like you never dropped them. Oh, drop that one though. Oh, oh, right. oh! I blocked the fart. Fart block. Now, if you were to fart next to that fiery can, would it blow up? No, no, no. no. Too far back. Oh, Oh man, it's debated. See, yeah, I put you to the other side too. Yeah. That was purposeful. Was it? Oh. Uh oh. Dropping them farts. Ooh, don't run See, it. The amount of time that they say fart is just like <laughs> in this stream. See, this you good. know they just get immense Maybe satisfaction with it. And that's just <laughs> kind of like. <laughs> it's disturbing. Well, I mean, we're, we're all told in the workplace you can't. Oh say or perform a fart and i agree with that i think that's a good philosophy so you know they're making a lot of money to say the word fart right now and i respect well, that bad. you scared no no i'm gonna wow out a bunch that was a good armac punish 
I'm drunk pedo. I'm trying to do cool. Wow. And if I'm not mistaken, it's hard to oh. tell because I have this turned down a little bit more so you come through a little bit better. Oh my goodness. Oh, there it is. I'm pretty sure he just farts randomly as he's. You hear farts as he's <laughs> just running around and stuff. I didn't like, know like, this, that. like the special isn't enough. Like, we, we need him to just do it randomly like in Deadly Lines. I'd like to see his wind pose. Have we seen his wind pose yet and I just missed it? I don't know, but that's oh, easily going to be yeah, the most trolliest the fucking brutality that. ever. <laughs> um, I think that's good right now. Because I'm yeah, no, going to um, well with my Ermac. It's intense. Did I ever? Did I ever? All right, yeah, I I just the thought of playing a Mortal Kombat over. game where I have to okay. go up against somebody we that's farting in my character's face constantly. From the just like... Twitter community. Thank you guys for that. We and he looks good. To like, to to in line with all the other deep DLC characters outside here. of Jason, so, here we go. he looks very strong. Oh. Like, he has a lot of good options. How many more patches will be implemented after MKXL? Um, there's no, like, set plan, but we do know that there will be um, patches to fix any kind of gameplay issues that come up. Or, or um, with the new online, there, there could be some kind of these things, or even further improvements that we'll need to do to online after it comes out. But it's, it's not something where we have a set patch plan, but, gotcha. um, but once it's released, we're going to keep an eye on what's going on. There. But there is a balance patch that will be shipping with XL. Yeah, there is, there is going to be a patch with Excel that everybody that has MKX is going to get, along with um, people that purchased the Excel. Sorry for not talking, so listeners. This is MKX, important. Now we're going to get a, a, a big patch that'll that'll make them compatible with anybody that buys MKXL. So everybody's going to be playing the same game uh, when, right. when March 1st comes around. Awesome. And uh, we'll be talking about some of the balance changes next week. Yep. It's uh, my favorite. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> Steve loves numbers. Okay, that's going to be sick. Ready. I am looking exactly. forward to that. I forgot about today's stream. I'm not forgetting about next week. That's going to be What? Quick. Sorry, there's a really loud truck driving by. We have another stream. No, they're going to talk about the balance changes for the patch. One more character. Who is it? I'm not going to say who. No. You don't even, you have no idea, do you? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, one more character. <laughs> no, um... Yet. And then the, the, the big, day, I don't want to say rumor, Friday, but the word in the street is that the next street, patch is the final balance. patch, and balancing then, is done after what? that. The um, Monday. I always had a feeling that wasn't true, and it wasn't like confirmed that is not necessarily other. true. That's it sounds like that's their goal, that's but they, they're so going to keep an eye on the game and see what happens. So thank you, Paul, for the answer. Which Derek, makes you wonder who's working on the next game. Like from Lukey one three three seven. Is there just Lukey an office with like Luke Injustice Two carved that, on right? the door, and there's just Kate, two guys like characters. drawing pictures yeah. of well, like? They have towers. I don't know. Of course they'll have towers. The Adam. I, I just then, I, I want to know what's going XL on with that already. But well, I guess we're gonna find out soon. About three months away from E three. Is that right? KP two character. For what? So you can actually try every. Sorry, I missed some of that. I was. If you were on the fence before. Browsing what people were saying on Facebook about it. You get to try. Yeah, you know, we're about four months away from E three. Uh, uh, E3's in June, so, asks, will the what, when was that, March, April, May, June, so probably about two and a half, because no, it's no, at, usually at the beginning of June, uh, around like June 10th or so. Thanks to our new enhanced online beta, which is great. We will well, June and a half would be May, though, right? Times to come here. I know we've said it before, it hasn't quite worked April, out. April, like or no, March, uh, April, yeah, you're right, May, I so yeah, three and a half. like the same month. I forget that, I feel like April and May is one, like, 68 months for some reason. Always had Yeah, it's it's three and a half away, yeah. We have the room, we have the people, let's do it. Yep. Will there be more announced costumes from Lusty Matt? Huh. Oh, oh, Lusty Matt. Say it again. There will be. We'll talk about those in the coming weeks. And finally, will the mobile skins be available on MKXL? We've already talked about that. They will not be, but download the game for free, and you can get them pretty quickly. One of my favorite skins in the game is Farmer Jacks. Yep. Uh, alt color Farmer Jacks. Might That's be my a favorite. bunch of bullshit, in my opinion. That, 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 that I never talked about on this show, show, but that but pissed me off. I do. So it makes sense. I do work for the them. mobile skins. Yeah, yeah um, that's a theory. I think we have some shout outs. Now. Shout outs. Well, they got to push right, their so mobile sales. Or not sales, but Costner, people playing their mobile birthday. game, which means um, using up money to Preston get to where they need to get. Strike. Well, and we know Injustice was a big success. They never, ever talk about the Mortal Kombat have, mobile. Um, so it looks like, it, I'm not saying it was a failure, but I don't think it pulled in nearly the same dough that Injustice did. And for a good reason. It wasn't nearly as fun. Stevens for his baby Kara. Possibly. Nice. Oh, that's adorable. Those are the shout outs. Shout outs. Jim, play the birthday shout outs. I don't know. I mean, like, 50% of the characters are fucking grunts that don't have names. It's just, it's stupid. But, uh, one more quick well, they have names. That's not fair. But, uh, just like um, week, they said so more costumes are coming. And I assume uh, when they like say that, they mean the Beyond the Apocalypse pack and the Combat pack 2 stuff? Brutality no idea. It's yeah, possible. no, I'm not sure how to interpret that. Last um, week I did the same thing, remember? Mm -hmm. I huh. prepped on my phone before we went into the stream, 
And I think in my pocket, I posted it before we went into the stream. So when I was telling people, hey, check it out afterwards, he's like, it's been up for an hour. You guys aren't live. I will prove that we are live. I'm going to prove that we are a live show right now by reading a piece of chat. Um, Maximo Soup just said, Sup, Sep just said, I hear, I heard Jen. Oh. Yeah. That's so look for that in your chat. Right. Scroll down. That proves that we are live. Unless he's a plant that we may do that at that exact moment. Sneaky, sneaky. Not true. Uh, okay. So, a couple notes about the belt battle today. I'm going to win. But it's not the note I was going to go with. <sighs> Steve? Hi. Uh, so, today, we, me and Derek like to thank you. <laughs> me and Derek like to play this game a lot. Right, I, so I just got a message. I'm doing something at 7 30 tonight. Combat. Absolutely. Uh, cool. Derek and. I I don't watch Space Cop, the uh, Red Letter say, Media comedy. Like, Let's play some matches. And the it's been delayed play, like three weeks. Play, Every week we try to watch this shit, and it never happens. It's been sitting on my shelf for. I don't want to watch it yet. I want to wait till. Space no, we have Cop? everyone there. Yeah, because I, I don't want to have to watch it again in case it's not good. So. Why is that is, do you watch Red Letter Media at all? The weird thing is, mm, no. You call that it's good. I'm, I'm a big fan of what they do. You play I, I think they're one of the more. Anything. So I don't understand. Um, He's supposed to be your friend. That's what I'm thinking I play for of. this belt. You see this so belt? Maybe he was saving it for this. I guess progressive it smells of internet web series out there. Right. They're, they're good. When I say progressive, I mean they're doing interesting <laughs> things. They're Thanks, doing a, no, a lot of outside the box. Like you know, I'm a big fan of Kids in the Hall, right? right? I don't know. Yep. Some people came. They are like the most Kids in the Hall web series you'll find in terms of their humor. It does, it's, it's very hit and miss, unfortunately, because they are very meta. But very hard, and I think he's a little worried because Molina very hard is better than me. Probably two times better than Derek. All right, back to Mortal Kombat. Sorry about that, guys. Let me stream. What do you think here? Should a person play their main to? To play each other at the highest level? And I think so. You know what's ironic huh. here and hypocritical? When Derek and I play, if I don't play Katana, he gets mad and demands I play her. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, I'm glad that this turned into let's let's shame Derek. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. That was a big debate back with MK9 cool. is That's character awesome. loyalty versus counterpicking. Now, uh, Tyler, and it seems like the debate's dead and people uh, just counterpick now. There's no loyalists, which is why I kind of want to see such a big come back to the competitive scene. I'm hoping once all this shit is finally done, they can just let him play tournaments. I think that's the only reason he, there's an embargo is because he is still working on new content and he can't, they can't throw him out into the wild, so... I really enjoy him as a competitive player. I really wish he'd start playing tournaments again. Maybe grab guys were my gimmick, you know, and maybe that's gone. Maybe I still enjoy. I will say this alien does have a good select screen pick. I mean, for a driver's license photo that everyone has, hers <laughs> does look the best. But alien, I mean, really, don't they like talking about the egg xenomorph? Yeah. But yeah, the the character select screen, they all look like driver's license photos. It drives me nuts. Yeah. No, I. Especially, I've yeah. said that since I don't know how long, maybe Deception or so, Armageddon. But I've long since been trying to campaign for bring bringing back the varied photos with the different backgrounds it just further adds to the personality of the game that's one yeah, thing and uh, that's one yeah. thing injustice did that i really liked not the select screen picks but the i liked all the added little flair to everything like if you picked harley quinn she has like the little diamonds down by her name or if you pick catwoman she has the the jewels that come out, the kind of like little display items. It's just small stuff like that that's really nice. But yeah, I completely oh, yeah. agree on the select screen. It would be nice to get, you know, the American flag behind Jax and crap like that and and just have him in a different pose rather than looking straight out. He can be in a, you know, I, I, I agree there. Well, you know, it's interesting. Cause we, I think one of the earliest episodes of the Nethercast, we talked about that very in depth. Yeah. And they went the opposite direction. They got worse. Like, yeah, I don't know the logistics behind it. Maybe they just want to make it so you can find your character easier, but that doesn't make any sense because you would think you'd get used to seeing the whole picture, the background, and if it's more colorful and it has more uniqueness to it, it's going to be easier to find a character once you understand what it looks like. But, I mean, that's the first thing you do in a game. If you don't know who's in the game, say you don't really follow it, you're going to look at the select screen and see who who's all there. You can scroll over them to see their names if you don't recognize somebody based off their picture. So I really don't understand it either. It just looks very simple and, like, too simple, too generic. It needs to be more colorful and unique. Well, it also had, like, a comic book vibe to it at MK2, you know? There was, like, a... I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to explain, but... I... <laughs> 
if that's a real criticism, if people really had trouble finding their their character because the two, the select screen photos were too elaborate, I dare someone to say that complaint out loud in a forum. I fucking dare them, <laughs> and let's see what happens. Like that's ridiculous. No, I, I don't even know if that's. I have no idea why they chose to do it. That'd be a good question, honestly. If we could ever, if we could ever get an interview or just flat out find a way to actually get them to answer a question for sure over Twitter or anything, that would. I would love to know the reason why they ditched that and not only why they ditched it, but why they don't return to it. It's such a simple thing to include background pictures and different poses for the fighters. I mean, there's only so much you can do with a small box like that. So just put a very, you know, just something that represents the, you know, behind the Joker, maybe have a playing card background or something. Who knows? Or if it's MK behind Sub-Zero, just have an icy, iced over look to his background like you know in the in the old games and after that just have him be slightly tilted to one side you know have his face tilted to one side have some people kind of looking menacingly down with their chin down type of thing you know there's different poses you can do with just the face you don't need to always have it everybody staring blankly at the at the camera or whatever so the only one that looks good is goro's and that's because goro's is hilarious like when we go back to select screen just take a good look at it. Although it might be a while before we do that. And this is probably the only, like, uh, Red Sun costume I like is Kano's. Kano's actually does look really good. You say Red Sun? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it's actually called. It's probably like a guerrilla warfare militia type thing. I don't know. It's his Cold Russian War. outfit. I think the pack was called Cold War. Cold War. Yeah. Which is very one-sided. Why don't they have Johnny Cage as like a 1950s dad? I don't know why it's all Russian if it's called the Cold War Pack, but whatever. Yeah, I don't know. There's other things for me to complain about than that, but I agree with you that the... I don't know. I would like to see more variety in the outfits that they give, for sure. It didn't occur to me until like a few weeks ago, but they never put Deception Sub-Zero in the game. I can't believe that. Yeah. That's insane. That that just blows my fucking mind. I just remember when he was on the leak list and you were getting very excited for it, so it's unfortunate that it never came to fruition. I mean, I guess the reason why I can't pout too much about it is because, honestly, I was not intending to use it. What? I prefer, like, a beardless all two costume. Like, I want to get rid of that beard and put a mask on it. That I loved the costume from the comic. I don't know why they felt inclined to change that, except beards. Like yeah. Well, it goes back to what we were saying. It's like, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing, apparently. <laughs> we can't just have one person with a beard. It's like, oh, hey, that looks good. We need to represent that these people are older, so let's give them beards. That's pretty much what the extent of it was. Is How do we represent that these people are aged more since the last game? Let's give them beards. Because Ash everyone knows they were, what, 20-something before? Or th probably young 30s in some cases. Let's forward it what 10 years 20 years how far did it go forward i don't know how old is uh, cassie the, she has I, I to be like, two years 20 she years, has to be I like guess. early 20s yeah so it would have to have jumped what 20 25 years something like that I in my forget. experience in life it tends to be the opposite the older people get the more clean shaven and cleaned up they are yeah like beards are what you do when you don't have a job and you just want to play worms all day that's what a beard is <laughs> play worms that is very specific no, no, it's awfully... It, man, me and my roommates used to play Worms all the time. The one of my roommates, uh, one of them moved out. and We just never really did it again, unfortunately. So Did you, did you have beards? <laughs> I did. Okay, then. Yeah, actually, all, all of us but one. All of us but all right, one. so Worms equals beards. And vice versa. <laughs> Not actual Worms, but the game. Yes, yes. Of course. <laughs> Gotta make that vital <laughs> distinction. Right, right. In case people didn't know. No. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I don't like, I don't like to complain anymore at this point. I'm tired of complaining. I just. Well, complain's a strong word. Like what I'm doing right now, I don't, in my mind at least, I don't think of it as complaining as it is just kind of being snarky for little to no reason. I, I'm just having fun with the stream. Like I'm just, it's kind of like deep thoughts with Jack Handy. None of it's really <laughs> from the heart, but it's. You know, it's little observations that are fun to make. You know? Sure. 
<laughs> I do love Deep Thoughts with Jack Handy. All right. And that SNL sketch with uh, sketch sketch with uh, <laughs> what's his name Phil Hartman. No, no, it was just a. Well, I mean, it was an SNL sketch. You're right about that, but it just uh, uh, it's a scrolling paragraph. Right, right, right. That's yeah. So yeah, I know what it is. I was just saying. Yeah, it was on SNL, right? Yeah. Yeah, my brother bought that book like literally 20 years ago. It's been a good amount of time now. Um, no, gosh, holy shit! It's been like it might have been 30 fucking years ago. Holy shit, I'm old. Wait, no, I would have been one years old. That's impossible. Let's say okay, 30 yeah. years. That's pretty. It's pretty long. Probably like now. 22 years ago. Okay. 22 years ago. It's only an eight-year difference. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, not a lot happens in eight years. Sure. Well, now there's probably nothing else to react to on here, so we can wrap this up. But overall thoughts on Bo. He definitely looks good. I don't want people to get the idea that I think he looks bad. He looks good. His gameplay looks good. It's what I expected. I expected them to make you know a very good drunken fist fighting style, and that's exactly what they did. Um, I expected a lot of alcohol use and stuff like that, which they did really, really well and in a very interesting way. Like I said, I, I went into it not wanting the farts and puke, and we got farts and puke again, so obviously there's that, and I'm not a big fan of that. So for that reason, it's disappointing but at the same time his overall gameplay still looks good it's not like i hate the character so overall yeah i mean he's a decent addition and they're gonna make him better than he was before it's just a shame that the things that people didn't like are still happening and i know not every that doesn't speak for everyone and I, I can't even say it speaks for the majority i don't know what people whether people enjoyed that or not and who sides with what but overall yeah definitely Definitely a cool looking character. I, they all look cool to me so far. Even Leatherface looked cool, but the gameplay, like I said, from everybody is really good, so that's never been an issue for me. Yeah, I, I, I think it looks really good. He exceeded expectations. Like, I know I don't sound super passionate, but I am. I mean, I, the game's been out for almost a year. It's hard to be passionate about anything at this point, but he does look really good, and he looks better than I thought. Um,. I would say the thing I love most about him is just how fluid and fast he looks. Um, I don't, I mean, it's hard to put my finger on why I like it so much, but he just looks like a lot of fun. He looks very cre creative, might be the word I'm looking for. Um, I don't know, it's hard to say. It's, it's really hard to really articulate why I like this character, but... Drunken Style's been done quite a few times in fighting games, and it's always looked really good, so they had a... Uh, I, I guess they, they just they had to be as good from as Brad from DOA. They had to be as good as uh as uh, I can't remember his name. He's my main in Tekken. What the uh, Lei Wulong? That's my main in Tekken. He had to be at least that good. And I don't know if he's gonna be that technical, but he looks at least that uh, charismatic. So also I, I I like seeing on people's faces and farting. Not in real life, but I like doing it to people in a video <laughs> game. I think that's cool, dude. Oh. You know, I, I feel like it's almost like they subverted the whole sex appeal thing where instead of making a lady sit on your face and break your neck, like, let's just let Bo Rai Cho do it. And I think that's funny. I think that's really funny. I feel sorry for the Tanya fans who didn't get the neck break throw, but... Still think I, mean, I don't cool. think that's why they didn't get the neck break throw is to try and... Oh, yeah, of course not. No, I absolutely agree. Definitely agree. But it, it, intentional or not, it's a cool little subversion. I like that. But for real, though, Tanya should have had a neck break throw. That, that didn't make any sense to me. I think I just need to remind myself that these games are marketed for pretty much teenagers, for the most part. This is not something yeah. that's marketed towards 35-year-olds, 25... Well, I think, it's, I think it's a demographic of, like, 15 to 30, maybe. And I'm in that demographic, but still, I just... I guess that's just... Still, to me, there's a reason why that's called lowbrow humor... It's not because you, people can't laugh at it. I laugh at it. It's just, I laugh at it in a way like, really? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like a embarrassed, pathetic, like, we're doing this now type of laugh. Like, you, you had to... Because to me, like, Johnny Cage's humor is smart humor to a degree. I mean, he says a lot of stupid things, and it's a lot of cheap remarks and cheap, sarcastic things. 
but at the same time they're well said it's like the the whole i'm taking you out i'm taking you out and i'm taking you out for dinner like that's creative that's smart that that makes sense that's not something people expected him to say and then it's like but then it doesn't take much to get a laugh out of a fart to me that's very lazy easy humor so to speak that's why it's lowbrow it's to the it's appealing to the lowest common denominator because kids will laugh at farts some adults will laugh at farts any you know it's just it's easy to appeal to but well i was worried that if they didn't appeal to the lowest common denominator people were going to pass by him so i'm glad like the farting like the the two-year-olds in in, you know the whole (laughs) i I don't i'm I'm glad (laughs) two-year-olds will love bo right (laughs) joe (laughs) <laughs> I think I think a gimmick actually is justified here because it, drunken masters in fighting games historically have not been terribly popular. So I'm glad there's like a gimmick here. I think this is one of the few times where a gimmick actually does make sense, you know, because I don't know anyone who mains Lei Wulong. Which is so weird that you're into it because yeah? you're somebody that's against all these disgusting things. You're You're against Devorah, you're against... I don't know. You're against a lot. Uh, Melina's mouth. You're you're against all these things. I'm actually not against Erma- Melina's mouth. Ermac's yeah. face, but you're okay with somebody farting in somebody's face and puking all over somebody. Like those are both disgusting. Yeah, <laughs> I, I guess it's the visceral aspect. That's the difference, you know. Uh, there's when it comes to like Devora, it's not the fact that she shoot that bugs are coming out of her that grosses me out. It's that small holes are opening, little orifices are forming, <laughs> and shooting out insects. That's what bothers me. And Ermac's face? It just looks bad. Like, honestly, <laughs> Ermac's face doesn't really gross me out. I say it does, but that's more. I'm more being facetious. I just think they had a good design with Ermac, and they made it ugly as hell for no reason. That's why it bothers me. Um, and Shinnok's uh, bone arms? That just looks stupid. <laughs> that just looks really stupid. I don't think I need to justify that one. It just looks stupid to me. But um, see, to me, that looks funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, but he's just he, like this intimidating, super serious presence, and he's just got these little fucking bone forearms and hands. <laughs> I I do agree. It's funny. I do giggle when I see his arms, but. <laughs> It's like I, baby I just... hands. It's like Deadpool baby hands. <laughs> it's creepy. He is kind of doing like the T-Rex stance too, you know, and that doesn't help. But I, I guess the difference is like Bo Wright show is already kind of cool without having to add any sort of like a regal elements to him. Shinnok actually does have like a cool regal element that is lost when you give him dinosaur bone hands, you know. Um, Do you say regal? I guess regal. It's regal. <laughs> Nightwolf. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I tried. Well, there's Chivas Regal too. So I guess I heard someone say it's Chivas Regal one day, and it just kind of stuck regal. in my brain like old gum. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like it's okay. You know, um, I feel like he's going to appeal to a broader audience. I want Bo Right Show to be popular. You... I feel like if they made him a straight man, it would not have worked as well. I, I don't. I think people would have said he's boring. Give us rain, you know. I mm, see. I disagree there because I don't think him farting and puking appeals to a larger audience. Because I, who, how many people are like? To me, the ninjas appeal to a lot of people because they're badass. How many people think? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I get a fart and puke all over the place. That to me, that's not somebody you play like. And think is cool and get behind. To me, that's somebody you play against your friend for the first time, and you're like, "Here, check this out." And then you puke on him and fart on him, and you have yourself a good laugh. But then you 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 go and pick your actual character you like to play as. Well, I think the, the appeal goes deeper than that. I think if, what if you do, what if it's not your friend? What if you don't like the guy? You know what? The the person's gonna say, "Fuck this guy! I'm gonna fart on his face until it blows up." But the, like that sounds that's like that's a very immature frame of mind. Exactly, and look who we're Fuck talking about. Fuck this guy! Let's I'm gonna about... fart on his face. Look at the people we've encountered online. Look at the teabagging. No, I know, and this just further is, like, accentuates that. Thousand. That's my point, though. Is this further accentuates childish behavior? We shouldn't be appealing to the teabaggers and bullshit like that. I agree. We're putting a lamb on the altar. You're you're definitely right about that. Because <laughs> people that teabag are the exact people that would pick this character just to do the fart brutality and then laugh about it. 
But they say nice guys finish last, and I don't want to see Bo Raicho finish last. If anyone has to reap the benefits of childish stream monster bullshit, I want it to be Bo Raicho. No, I mean, we'll see. I'm Like I said, I'm not hating the character. I definitely don't... I don't dislike what I saw. I, I like him. I just... It's it's like an asterisk. I like him, but I don't like this part about him. But well, overall, it doesn't ruin me. the character for me by any means. I would... I'd play him, but it's just... I mean, I, I'm not going to main him or anything. I and I probably won't even buy him, but I'm not against playing as him. I just think it's... I don't know. It's silly. I think his costume looks really good, which is one thing that hurts Shinnok. It's not the fact that it looks bad. It's the fact that those dirty bone hands are part of his costume. They never go away. I can play Bull Right Show without farting all the time. I mean, even the fart noises are a little... A little not great, but um, at least it's an aural quality. It's not something I have to see all the time, you know. Um, it's just when you mess with the costume, you know, my my butthole clenches a little bit. I get really nervous whenever that happens. So what? it's bad. I you can't. A bad costume design really hurts a character, in my opinion, and that's what Necromancer Shinnok does for me. Yeah, I know. I wish Katana I think had Bro a mask still. What's that? Said I still wish Katana had a mask in her Royal Storm. They yeah, I just... wish Kenshi had a fucking bandana in a third variation, but yeah. I, don't, I just didn't think it was necessary. I mean, I, I get the idea that, oh, we want to have this visual indicator. Well, that's what the life bar is for. Underneath it, you have the, the indicator. You know, you can, before the round even begins, you can just look up in the corner and be like, oh, he's playing this variation. Instead, if they want things like little variation uh, on their appearance, just have a, a Tekken system where you can just change little aspects you can't change the character's overall color so you still know scorpion is scorpion he's you can recognize him from the yellow ninja garb but if you want to give him a flaming head instead of a normal head for any of his variations you should be able to do that it's such a simple little thing like that in my opinion i would i would simplify it even further than tekken the problem with the tekken costume system is it's hard for competitive players to really reap the benefits because you have to earn a lot of that shit you have to go to spend a lot of time in customizing that character design. Um, what? what I would do is like in Tekken, <laughs> yeah. If you want to like put like Jin or Devil Jin in a tuxedo, you know, you actually have to go to the character costume customizer and change that. So that doesn't take long. It does in a tournament. You can't just like hold on, guys. Let me put. Let me make my tuxedo costume. Well, that doesn't even great. have to be something for tournament players, though. Then it's not everything has to be marketed towards tournament players. Well, I think players. you can please both in this. We've case. got like eighty percent of the game towards tournament players. Something like a little visual thing like that is very minor. Exactly. So I think you can make it easy for both people. If we're just doing the like changes on the level of different variations, let's say you know during the loading screen. Hold up and start. You now no longer have a mask. Uh, let's say you hold down and start. You now have Kung Lao's glowy thingy. You know, the glowy sure, thingy. Sure, sure. I mean, um, it, yeah. you so can do everyone, it either way. I'm just saying... And you could even get, you could even have it just be a variation on costumes. You could just flat out... When you go to pick your costume by pressing square, you could press, a, you could press square again on said costume to go into a further option of just like two different versions of... Mask on, mask off. Raiden's hat on, Raiden's hat off. Type of stuff like that. <laughs> Don't take Raiden's hat off. That's just going to look silly, dude. He's going to look no, like old man gambit. But it's okay if it's an option. That's my point, though, is yeah, it should okay. be an option. Things like that oh. should be an option. It's such a simple... Should Sub-Zero have frozen forearms and fists or not? Like Those are little minute touches. It's no different than having an alternate costume, other than it takes way less resources, and it's such an easy... Thing, or whether you want Kenshi's bandana on or not. like The point is it shouldn't be tied to variations. It should be something oh, simple agree. that you can change. Whether it be through a system outside of choosing your character or uh, choose when you go to choose your character, when you press up and start or you can select from a list. Those are little easy touches. No, I, I absolutely agree. 100%. Um, I've always wanted... I always thought taking your mask off as a ninja should have been a taunt. I always thought you should have been able to do that mid-match. And that fell on deaf ears, obviously. So. Yeah, that'd be cool, too, is if you could just kind of throw things off in battle, just get completely naked. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be for it. I'd be for it. <laughs> yeah. Every time you land a combo afterwards, you just take off one more piece. It's like strip poker. Let's take that vest off, Bo right, Show. Let's see what you got under there. <laughs> But no, I, yeah, I, I definitely agree that it should be something simple. And if, if they did it a taunt, 
in a taunt-like fashion, then sure. I'd be okay with that, too, if you... Kenshi's just, like, flat out takes his bandana off mid-match. Like, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> he doesn't even use his hands. He just tend to telekinetically, like, like lifts up in the air yes, and just never lifts comes it. back down. <laughs> Nicely That'd puts it cool. on the ground. <laughs> puts it in his back pocket, folds it up first. All telekinetically. You could do it, like, you could put it back on as well. That would be cool. Like, during a combo, <laughs> you put your bandana back on. <laughs> yeah. That's been a big controversy in Street Fighter Four, actually. Um, there's a Knuckle Dew would uh, put his shades on uh, in the middle of resets between combos right. as a taunt, and people got really mad about that. Uh, like, tournament players would not... K-Brad would not shake his hand after losing to him in tournament. Because he, um, would, he would taunt him? Yeah. And that's a, that's a topic I actually kind of wanted to talk about in another cast, but we never got around to it. To taunts in MK or what? Well, just... It, me and Jango talked about it on the Warrior Shrine, and my philosophy is you can't police kindness, don't ban it, but you're still an asshole, and I, I don't like this mentality. I think we should all treat ourselves like a community, but don't ban it. That was my stance. Yeah, I mean, with with like things like teabagging, there's nothing you can do. You can't be like, oh, if they, they crouch twice in the matter of, you know split second then all of a sudden they they, they can't crouch for a, they have a cool down on crouch like this. <laughs> you can't do something like that otherwise you're you're heart you're hurting gameplay because not everybody's gonna crouch a lot like that i mean people could be crouching just for tactical purposes or whatever but things like taunts those are the kind of things that i don't i don't necessarily think have to be in the game you don't have to have taunts in any game really because what is at the end of the day what is a taunt for it's to taunt your opponent it's to say hey come get me like say they're stalling you taunt them to try and egg them on like in boxing or you taunt them to say like after you combo to just be like look i i'm so good that i can taunt in mid match and still beat your ass like it's not it's taunting in general <laughs> is is a dirty tactic or it's a not dirty meant to be nice yeah, it's not meant to be nice. You don't taunt somebody to be nice. That's why taunting is called taunting. <laughs> like, it's not... <laughs> it well, is very, what it is. Let me clarify. I'm pro-taunting. Taunts should be in fighting games. But there's a difference between taunting your friends and taunting a stranger in tournaments. Sure, sure. I agree. Like, you don't teabag someone if you don't think they're going to get pissed off. You're doing right. it to piss them. It's not the teabagging that annoys me. It's the fact that I lost, and they want me to feel bad about it. That's what fucking grinds my nerves, you know? So. Part of the well, problem for me is taunting happens accidentally. <laughs> like, in Street Fighter Five, when I faced Shadow, I taunted, like, twice. Because the two buttons to taunt are right next to the two buttons that uh, start your V-trigger. So, <laughs> twice I, huh. I accidentally taunted instead of started my V-trigger. <laughs> Did he say anything? He's like, what is that? And I was like... I, I, I tried to press the V trigger. Like, I wasn't winning or anything, so it made no sense for me to be taunting anyway, so. But, like, uh, with with the fight stick, I still, my finger placements aren't always where they need to be giggity, and sometimes I accidentally press, I mean, I, I constantly press the wrong button, so it's not, like, a, a rarity, <laughs> so. But, yes. But, yeah, no, I'm not I'm not anti-taunting or pro-taunting. I just think it's it's there I have fun with it. Other people can have fun with it. It doesn't really necessarily bother me. Uh, do I think it's absolutely necessary to be in the game? No, but I don't know. It is a respect factor that, at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. Like in Smash Brothers, we didn't use taunts, so to speak, but when me and my friends played, I would do things to purposely piss them off. Like, instead of a taunt, well, I would use Bowser, right? Right. And I'd use the command throw, even if I was losing. I'd use a command throw to take them off the stage and pull them down. Like, yeah. just because it made me ridiculously happy. Yeah, Donkey Kong has that, you know, too. Yeah, if you have two, yeah, you know, he, he's had that even longer. I think he's had that since 64, I yeah, think. Yeah, it's but. a hilarious way to kill somebody and yourself is just grab somebody and run off the stage. Well, what's hilarious is when they know you're going for it and they're just squirming and you're just coming after them like a fucking like grizzly bear on acid. <laughs> like, that's the fun part. That's what makes me so happy. But we're friends, you know? I mean, it just... Well, what's even funnier to me is if you're in a group game and it doesn't matter if you're low on lives or not. Right. You're just fucking botching someone else's chances of... Oh, gosh, it's so fun, dude, but... 
Yeah, th- that's a good example. But but we're friends. They they know it's you know they know I'm not trying to make why well, I'm trying to make them angry, but they know it's all in good fun. You know, they know the spirit behind the actions. You know? Right. Make no mistake, I was trying to make them angry, but it's fun. It's just, it's just fun, you know. Yeah. Afterwards, we have a beer. Everyone's happy. All right. Well, let's end this thing. Our reactions and little discussion. So thanks for tuning in, guys. There wasn't really a whole lot to say, but, I mean, hopefully you guys enjoyed what Bo Raicho looks like and our reactions for what they were. And uh, obviously we'll delve deeper into it on our individual shows and the Nethercast and all that like. So, anyways, take care, guys. Take care, everybody.